hey, there's Oli versus the not that's someone else's stick, and he does it pretty well. So I'm not gonna even gonna, I'm never gonna stomp on that tread. So, my name is Albert Gurrier, and I'm not sure if this is gonna be a string in a long line of many videos that I'm gonna be doing, but I decided to give this a go. Now, I am a wrestling fan first and foremost. I am not a basketball fan at all. But lately, I've become more enthralled with playing my NBA 2K16 more than I'm enthralled with playing WWE Supercard. Um, there's a lot of different options. It's there's, there's so many different variations that you go with that makes it more interesting. Things like the Blacktop Challenge. They have their they have the Rivals Clash, which is similar to the People's Champions Challenge. And they have Road to the Championship, which is their version of Road to Glory. But I found the game to be more, more interesting and more worth playing. So decided I was going to do a video about my NBA 2K16. Give it a go. Like I said, this may not, this may be the first and only. This may be the first in a long line of many, but we'll see where this goes. Um, I don't have the cute little graphics thing or whatever. Although if I decide if I do this more often, then may decide to follow suit with what other people do in terms of gameplay or or videos showing screens or that nature. But gonna have to rely on holding the phone up to the to the monitor to the webcam, I should say. So if you plan if you're in the blacktop challenge. It's a thing where you play 15 minutes against a lot of people and you hope to get enough points that you work your way up to to with formulas at either the basic level um, there's a super level which requires more basically it's an ingredient based thing where you get abilities you get enhancements you get superstars and then you put all their then you pretty much combine to make a super card and rounding up there's an ultimate which requires a lot more to go with but it's kind of fun I've, I've only gone with the basic because my <laughs> um, it's like my guy to have right now is kind of kind of there you know so April rewards are it's basically broken down into epic legendary and star um, the epic one you could go with a John Starks um, you could win a Michael Gilchrist uh, I get this? Well, forgive the focus aspect um, you could go with an Andre Iguodala or if you get lucky you could get a legendary like Dennis Johnson or Danny Ainge or Andre Drumming and if you really get lucky you could get star cards like DeMarcus Cousins um, Yao Ming or John Wall stats on these are monster so to get those and pro them <laughs> it's like you will have a very hard deck to beat now the rivals clash is going on currently so right now it's basically Miami Heat versus LA Lakers in which the prizes are essentially you either get a Col you either get a Kobe or you get a Shaq so if you get so you could get a Ricky Star Kobe or a just a regular rare um, if you get a little bit further up in the ranks to super rare you could get a nice super rare Kobe Bryant or a super rare Shaquille O'Neal then as you get up you get to ultra rares to where you could get either a regular ultra rare Kobe Bryant or a regular ultra rare Shaquille O'Neal and then it gets kind of interesting because as with the rare one you could get either a an all-star Kobe or if you're on the Shaq side and that side wins you get a rookie star Shaquille if you work your way up to legendary you, if you work up to the legendary rank that's anywhere from 1800 down to 10,000 
you could either get an MVP Kobe or a MVP Shaquille O'Neal. As you get up beyond that, then you get into the star card. So you got a, like a regular Kobe or a regular Shaquille. But then it gets interesting because when you get up to 26 to 500, you could either get a regular or a gold. Or if you're lucky to get one out of 25, then you could get a star Kobe and a star Shaquille O'Neal. So definitely worth going for myself with the way my time schedule has been going and my just things in general. I would be lucky if I get if I get a Kobe Bryant, which would work very well because all I would need is one more and then I can make a pro out of him. The um, thing that I like the most about, about NBA is that it's not that easy to make a pro. For those of you who play, you know what I'm talking about. But for those of you who have, who don't play and are just getting into the game, um, they have essentially what's known as... Well, let me get to this. They have what's known as contracts. So you have rookie, you have star, and then you have veteran. Now, rookie, you need four cards, four of the same cards, one of them has to be fully trained to combine to bring up to make a pro. The veteran requires you to have a full trained card and two cards. The star one though, that only requires you to have a fully trained card and another one of the same. Now you can get what's known as a wild card through either packs or through pulling from the board that allows you to fill in those spots so you can get your pros a little bit better, faster, but they're not that easy to come by. So you may have to play a lot to get those, but they're very well worth it in the end. Um, let me see what else. What else can I tell you about this game? Consider this whole speed introductory in case you haven't played it and just want to have a feeling and want to get your feet wet. Um, but the one thing that I like the most, one of the things that I like the most about this is the variety and what you could get because you could get basically just regular regular team packs or basically from time to time they'll have like today as I'm doing this they have a throwback Thursday special um, you could get deluxe foil packs which has which you could get like a legendary MVP or a star all-star they also have a record setter pack which focuses of course on people who have set records you have an all-star pack which concentrates on all-star game winners or all-star players and then you have a Hall of Fame pack which of course you get cards from people with the, that's in the Hall of Fame so and there's just like so many different ways that you could go with the game and the variety of it that makes it interesting now I'm not saying I'll never go back to Supercard although I probably will go back if they have another season but I think I'm kind of stuck with NBA 2K for now because I've kind of devoted a bit of time into it and a little bit of finances, if you know what I mean. But to me, it offers me what, I, what I'm looking for in a game of this type with the variety, the challenge, the fun, the, the overall feel of it. Not to knock Super Card because that that's definitely a fun game in and of itself. It's just I kind of grew to enjoy NBA now. At first I downloaded it because I wanted to check it out, then I deleted it. Then I re-downloaded it around the time of the uh, around the time of the card situation. For those of you who may not know, there was a time that they were essentially giving cards away for free because for like for 30 minutes or an hour they had a pack that was at no price. Um, since then they have fixed that issue and then deleted it and then I saw a friend saw one of the people that I play with on Supercard sh just start playing that a little bit more, and I'm like, okay, let's see what he let's let's just actually play the game. Let's just get into it. If I like it, I like it. If I don't, and then I could just delete it off, go back to Supercard, go back to whatever game. I wind up staying because it's 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 that fun a game and it's that much of variety that that makes me want to play. Like I said. I am not a basketball fan by any means. I couldn't tell you who any of the players were today. I could, I could only tell you who played before, like Shaquille O'Neal, Kobe Bryant, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, um, 
Michael Jordan, John Stockton, those people I could tell you about because those come from my era where, where they were stars. But like I said, I couldn't tell you anything about any of the NBA players today. But I like the games that much that it really doesn't matter. At first, I felt that that be like a disconnect because I wasn't familiar with them. But <clears throat> with this game, it really doesn't matter. So <clears throat> if you are playing WWE Supercard, if you are playing NHL Supercard, and you don't, and you, have, and you haven't downloaded it yet, and you haven't downloaded my NBA 2K16, by the way, um, go ahead, try it out. Like I said, you either like it, or you delete it and go back to playing your other games, your Super Cards, your Angry Birds, your your Candy Crushes, whatever. But definitely worth giving a look-see. So, like I said, I'm not sure if this is going to be my, my one and only video, or if this is going to be a series of videos, but... It was kind. Of, it was fun doing this one. If you want to drop me a comment, if you do want to see more from me, um, like I said, I don't have the cool little, cool little graphics which has my face here, game screen here, whatever. But I hope that doesn't distract you from enjoying the segment nonetheless. If you want to drop me a comment, feel free to do so below, and I'll be more than happy to read them and get back to you on those. So, I guess that's going to be it for now. My name is Albert Gurrier. I hope you enjoy the video, and hopefully, probably, somewhere down the line, I'll come back at you with more. So, until then, go for the, go for the hoop. Goodbye, everybody.